wrong with you? I mean, of course you can do this. No. There are so many people. I, I, I just can't do this, you know. I just, I'm panicking. I'm freaking out. I can't do this. So you don't want to do this? You don't want to do this? You want to skip this? Do you know what happened to those people who don't speak in front of the people? Do you know what happened to their careers? And you still want to skip this? And how long have you keep skipping this? I know you make sense, but you know there are some people who cannot just speak in front of the public, okay? And I'm just one of them. How do I do it? Okay. I can prove that you can speak in front of the people, okay? Just watch this. Uh, I want to ask you something. How many of you guys can come up here and speak con with confidence? How many of you guys can come here? Okay. Okay, there are... Come on, guys, you can come. Okay, there are a few people, okay? You see, there are a few people. Now, I want to ask, who did not raise their hands? So what if I put a gun to your parents, ha uh, parents' head and I'm from Pakistan, we put Osama Bin Laden uh, in our land for so long, so you can, you know, this is putting a gun to your parents' house, it's something very easy for me. So tell me, how many of you guys will come here? You don't want to save your parents' life? Come on, guys! You don't do that! Okay, only one guy. Oh my God! Okay, tell me you, you tell me, would you still come up and save your parents' life? I mean, of course, that's a life and that situation. I would just come and speak whatever I feel like. Exactly, my dear friend. That's exactly like a life and that situation. I tell you why. Because, just think about it. You cannot convey your message. You cannot convey your ideas. You already a dead person in front of the society. Because you yourself cannot express. Okay, okay, you make sense, okay? But I cannot speak like you. How do I get comfortable, okay? Okay. Let's start from the outside. Let me ask you something. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of public speaking? Do you really want me to say it? Yeah, yeah go ahead, say it! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and there are a lot of other swear words that definitely I cannot say right now, right now in front of these respected people. I mean, I just, I just keep looking for the ways. I just want to escape that moment. Okay, my dear friend. You have the fear of public speaking. So does everyone, okay? According to the most studies, you know, the uh, people number one fear is public speaking. Number two is the death. So according to the average people, if you're going to a funeral, it's better you are lying in that casket, you know, just doing a thing, then rather than doing the eulogy. So you see, it's normal, okay? Okay, you make sense, okay? But, you know, I just can't do this. Okay, I'm just afraid. If I forget my speech, what am I gonna do? And stand there like a complete idiot. I mean, I did not think of it. That's serious. Of course, that, that's what you cannot do. Because these people gonna hang you. You will be on the front page of Hurriyat News. Men forget speech gets death penalty. You will be dead, my dear friend. You cannot do this. Come on. You're insane, do you know? People forget their wives' faces, okay? <laughs> People forget about their children, how many sons they have. It's just a speech. Come on. Okay, I'll, I'll not get published in Korea. yet. I'll be, these people are not going to hang me, okay? I know, but I don't want people to look at me in a weird way. I, I just can't do this. My dear friend, people always look in a weird way. Even if you don't speak, they look in a weird way. So, tell me, you want to have a lifetime worth of regret, failure, just because you're afraid that you cannot speak in front of public? Oh my god. Okay, that makes sense again, okay? But there are some other problems. Okay, like what? English. I am not a fluent speaker, okay? I just fumble a lot, 
okay? I'm not a native speaker, I can't, I can't, I'm, I'm so bad at English. Let me tell you, friend, these are all Europeans, okay? They speak with a broken English, okay? People are not judging you on their English. People are judging you on your confidence. Okay, I'm joking. People <laughs> always make fun of your English, okay? We, the YouTube is full with the making fun of English, okay? We have like one minute and you know they're like, it's a game, it's it cousins, okay? What can we do sometimes, okay? People always make fun of your English, okay? Let's be honest. I'm being honest to you, okay? What you do is, before going on the on the stage, you write your whole speech, okay? Word by word. Memorize it, and even if you forget, you are scared that you can forget your speech. Take your paper, come in the front, look into people's eyes, and read out your paper. Just read full, full your speech, okay? Just with the confidence. Okay, that makes sense again. But I'm, I'm, I'm just still scared, you know. So what if, you know? That's not natural, you know. I'm, I'm, I cannot do. That's not my style. That's your style, okay? Should I tell you what else is natural? Disease. <laughs> Disease is natural. So, the next time when you get sick, don't let doctor interfere, okay? <laughs> Just die, okay? Just die. It's like, no, no, it's a natural process. Come on. It's, I have to die. I mean, whatever disease I have. Do you know that? No. So, my dear friend, you're gonna have your life just worth of mediocrity and failures and inconfidence or you want to be unnatural and you want to be confident and successful. The choice is yours. Okay, you speak a lot. You speak a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna speak. I was just about to speak and this you know crazy heartbeat. I'm getting nervous. I cannot. Tell me, what do I do with my nervousness? You know what? It's normal to be nervous. It's normal to be a little scared. The world biggest orator, Rob Anthony Robbins, you know, he jumps ups and down 500 times, you know, 500 times in front of the audience. Why? Because he is nervous. So you're gonna be nervous. You're gonna be a little scared. You're gonna have that crazy heartbeat before coming on the stage. You want to skip this, but don't. Just come in the front, okay? Look into the people's eyes, okay? And speak loud with the confidence and smile. And that's how your eyes will get comfortable. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, my English is bad, my, my, I can fumble, and uh, if I forget, they're not gonna get, you know, hang me, but it's okay. Yeah, I can speak, maybe. Yeah, maybe I can speak. So, ladies and gentlemen, that was me a few years back. And I know there are so many people among you who are exactly like that character. Who are, you guys are scared of your English. So what if I don't have a good English? So what if I fumble? Some of you might be stammer, okay? But that's not a problem. Just think about it. If you come on the stage and you speak, okay? And if you speak, you influence. And you, if you influence, you change people's life. Don't you want to change people's life? Mr. Toastmaster.